Hey everyone, it's George, king of the jungle. George always helps others. He's what you call a giver, and he's had quite a day of giving. First, negotiations between the ape and banana councils broke down and got ugly, real ugly. <laughs> Magnolia needed help with her research. I was studying interspecies dating, but the couples wouldn't stay together. <laughs> so I used an eensy weensy bit of glue. Or maybe more than that. <laughs> yes, sirree, George gives. And gives. And gives some more. And all he gets in return? Pain, agony, and punishment. Five minutes, okay? George need break. Oh, George, deal with evil son later. Go away, soundtrack. Not listening. La, 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 George, la, 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 the shaking, la. the sky, the music. With no time to lose, George and Ape consult the all-knowing Ape Council. With the strike over, we can once again consult the banana bits of fate. What banana bits of fate say? Behold, the future! Is that a skull? It's hard to tell. Wait, it's changing. It's the volcano! That's neat! The volcano! George, defend jungle home! Helping. Can we try something else? Stop already! George, defeated? Could this be it? Has George given his last? Is it the end of the jungle? George? Esteban passes to Hernandez and goal! What? Just working on my reel? Some of us will need a new job after this episode. George, what? What is it? Get the Steve. Yeah, I thought I heard my beautiful name. I was just exploring the Earth's molten inner Steve when I felt my ego get a little bigger. Steve, jungle needs you. That's flattering, but oh yeah, I'm evil. Weasel heart, remember? Man, I love watching this jungle burn. It Council, use mind powers! Yuck. Hey, ungrab the steam! Uh, you can't do this to my perfectly sculpted body! It's a crime against Pilates! George, are you sure about this? Yes, Steve a jerk, but he's smart and strong and one of us. Deep down, Steve loves jungle! I hate the jungle! This is wrong. We can't do this. It's our only hope. Do it now. Let's get this party started. George's golden heart flooded Steve's evil body with mushy, warm feelings. Do we have to? Heck no, George will be fine without a heart. Oh wait, he died. Get in there! Phew, <laughs> that's the hardest 30 seconds of surgery I've ever done. Deep feels good! Whoa! 
Look out, lava monster. Steve's coming to save the jungle. Sure, Steve was filled with goodness, but George was supercharged by pride, ambition, and weaselly weaselness. George! George! Man, good thing I don't have a license. <laughs> this is exactly the kind of thing they take it away for. The Steve. Maybe you've heard of me? I'm kind of a big deal. Ah! Whoa! Did he just... He did it! George saved us all again! In the most awesome way possible. You probably wonder why George saved Jungle from Lava Monster. George! But George wonder why he save it over and over when all George get in return is Big Bobo. Big Bobo's. A good question. George save Jungle one last time so he can destroy Jungle for himself. That's the weasel talking. It tries so hard to talk like human, act like human, but it's just smelly ape who not fit in anywhere. Wow. He nailed you! George? But why? So Magnolia, go home and admit she total failure. Stuff that in microscope and write paper on it. Zing! Busted! George free! <laughs> Ursula only want to be animal because Ursula terrible at being person. Oh, what does Ursula do? Bite George on face? Use claws? Bite George on face again? Huh? 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 What is Ursula gonna do? <laughs> Faced with the George Apocalypse, an assembly of all jungle animals gathered to save their home. Our king turns against us. We must activate the self-destruct and purge the jungle with nuclear fire. <laughs> On three, turn and activate. Wait, that's what we're trying to prevent. Your point is? You'll be destroyed too. What? Uh, oh yes, totally. Destroying our home isn't the answer. George saved us all over and over again. It's time for the jungle to save George. I don't know. It sounds like a lot of effort. Our plan's like just one button. Beep, boom. Yeah. We'll take a vote. Uh, democracy's the worst. Who wants to save George? Who wants to blow everything up and start over? It's a tie! We win! Oh, an eight councillor vote is worth ten other animals for some reason. If you don't like the rules, go live in someone else's jungle. The Steve will vote. A king's vote is worth ten times ten. A million. That's not allowed! Steve is a jungle citizen. I may be stronger, smarter, and normally much more evil than any of you. But as George would say, me from jungle too. The Steve votes to save the George. Uh, we never get to nuke anything! Weasel heart or not, we know you're a good person. George not good, George bad. Duh. No! Nobody wanted to end the season this way, but... Cue the sappy flashback! And through the incredible power of editing and sappy music, George was reminded just how much he loved his jungle home.
George. Hey, Jerk Weasel. Hey, George's friend. George have heart again? It's back where it belongs. But Steve need heart too. I had a spare hippo heart. And as everyone knows, hippos are lawful neutral. Steve can be whoever he wants to be now. The Steve has a lot of learning to do about the Steve. But jungle, me destroy it. It'll regrow. Until then, things will be a little crowded. George may be king of the jungle, but he's definitely not king of ideas. What's wrong, George? <sighs> George needs to stop Jerk Eagle from eating cute meerkats. Every time George turn away, Eagle... Hey, Jerk Eagle! What'd George do to save meerkats? Remember when those jungle pigeons wouldn't stay off my tent? I made a scarecrow to keep them away. If anything, more pigeons came to laugh at it. So whatever you do, don't do it. Hey! George C! Oh, you didn't hear what I... Ta-da! Good idea, Magnolia. <laughs> George not know how you do it. Is that how you see me? Ursula! George need help! how George get Baby Lever across river and home to family? Duh! Use canoe! Or raft! Or bridge! Ah! <laughs> Good idea, Ursula. Um, which one? Thank you, Ursula! Oh. Uh, hello? What George do now? George, you can't rely on other people for ideas. You need to come up with them yourself. Ah. Huh? George, an antelope is stranded on that high ledge. <gasps> antelope in danger! Indeed. Quick, what do you do? Um, uh, George escaped for idea. But I've been eaten by a crocodile. What? <laughs> George cry because he missed eight. But the antelope still needs your help. George. Yes? Ask Ursula. Oh, you can't. She's returned to her home planet. <laughs> George's world collapsed. What if there's no one to ask? What if you have to come up with an idea by yourself? Now you never leave George, and he always has someone to ask what to do. George, you're missing the point. <laughs> Ursula mad! Take it out on Magnolia! What? Why? Why? <laughs> George wanna help Magnolia, but George lousy at ideas. Apparently so, though I've never noticed it in any other episode. What a coincidence! This is an idea rock. If you find yourself wondering what to do, just ask it for ideas. Oh. Idea rock have name? Um, sure. It's Presley. Okay. Hey, Presley, what George do? Ooh, Presley smart. He say, whoa. <laughs> Yes, that's a good idea. I'll do that. Um, ape okay? Ape's fine. He just has a bunch of to-dos. To-do. Ape! Ape! Oh! <laughs> um, what ape doing? Maybe George help? Doing? I'm not doing anything. With that, Presley? Yep. Ape definitely doing something. Relax, George. Slow down. Grab a tree and dangle. Yeah. You should hang upside down for a while. It's so amazing. Magnolia, 
Why you hate Treehouse, too? We no hate Treehouse. We no hate anything. Ursula, you no angry. Ursula never angry, see? Big smile, yay! No thanks, Presley, me not thirsty. George need to get to bottom of strange mystery. George said he not thirsty. Fine, you very pushy for rock. Hey, <gasps> invisible sloth on shoulder. Look through glassy backwash. Mmm, thank you, God. Delicious. See you later. We have to bounce. What George do? Presley, George needs save friends idea real bad. Okay, if Presley insist. <laughs> Where they go with invisible shoulder slots? What they building? Ooh, that good question too, Presley. Holy rack bananas! <laughs> Excellent, my sloth chums. Soon we shall dominate this planet like we dominate afternoon naps. Okay, Presley. George hazy on details, but bit about Earth domination sound bad. What? Where? George, stop, evil sloth! But how? Are uh, you sure, Presley? Okay, if you say so. Whoa! Yeah, <laughs> great idea, Presley! <laughs> uh, oh, man! Where's my dynamite? Where to go? George, never tell. Oh, no! Now you've done it! We're doomed! Game over, man! That's right! George and Presley save Earth from evil slobs! No, man! When I say we're doomed, I mean you and me, not them! I was trying to stop all this. Uh, George and Presley no understand. You do flashback? <sighs> Fine. My name is Slothocles. And like all sloths, I'm not from your world. We sloths come from another, slower dimension, man. I arrived here many years ago with a sloth scout team. We were sent to discover your weaknesses, but instead fell in love with your world, specifically your fudge. This is the only dimension that contains the glory that is fudge, man. Instead of completing our mission, we decided to make Earth our new home. I hope the rest of our evil race would forget about us, but that was not meant to be. My people have enslaved your friends with their sloth powers of suggestion. Wait, how come evil sloth's invisible and you not? We sloths use an advanced mind-phasing technique to turn invisible at will. But I'm too lazy. Oh, and it's easily neutralized by backwash. This is also the only dimension with backwash technology, man. Um, George, could I borrow those goggles? It'll just make things easier for everyone. Sure thing, Sky Voice. Much better. That's a time break. When it's yanked, it'll slow time to match the sloth dimension. Then sloths will be the fastest things on this planet, man. When the sloth army comes through the portal, they'll subdue this world in the blink of an eye. I was gonna blow that thing sky high, but someone ate my explosives. Presley, how to save everyone? George, need idea, quick. Hmm, uh-huh. Oh yeah, oh I see, okay. Sure hope it worked. Good luck. George really hoping that do it. Yes! Get him, get Go him, George! get him. <laughs> Presley, what plan B? George, watch out for the <laughs> sloth! I am the sloth commander, but you may call me Peanut. Listen and do my bidding, ape man. You are powerless to resist. Whatever Peanut say, George do. <sighs> there goes the neighborhood, man. The whole dimension, really. Who better to pull the time break than the king of the jungle? This planet 
is ours. No. No. George, make own idea. That's likely. You failed at it this entire episode. Yes! What? Uh, wind blow you off! You have to go into hyperspeed to knock me loose. Look out! Uh, <gasps> George, free! Get, get him! him. Get him. Must stop him! Get oh, him! Must stop him! If slots want time to slow down, maybe better idea <gasps> to speed up! Where did all these slots come from? No, my invasion. Cheer up, have some fun. Mm, this is really good. I know, right? Now get lost. No, I want more slots. George. You single-handedly saved us from sloth domination. I knew you had good ideas. Ah, uh, George not do much. Sloth McLees and Presley have all good ideas. All I did was ask you to stop them. And Presley is just a stone. I only pretended it was an idea rock to boost your confidence. George learned an important lesson today. He learned... Uh, oh, hold on. Uh, George, get it. Um, uh, water wet? No, George learned that yesterday. Um, ooh, fire hot! Oh, no. Maybe I should find a planet where I'm more appreciated. It's the oldest of questions. What drives man to pit himself against the wild, to challenge Mother Nature herself to a no-holds-barred cage match of epic proportions? Thanks for the warm-up, ladies, but I'm hunting big game today. For Tiger Titheridge, it's to become legend and be crowned this year's Master of Macho. But this year's competition is fierce. Grizzly Lady Bear took the dreaded Lasersaurus down like a clown. Mako Manswim Jr. captured the hyper-cunning Great White Smart. And King Cobra snagged the Emperor of Yetis after a 72-hour toboggan chase. Wait, it looks like this hunt isn't over. Tiger has only one day left to out-hunt them all. And to do that, he needs to catch the one. The only... Chupacabra. Ha! You're mine! Oh, uh, uh, hi, Tiger. I think I'm allergic to everything in this jungle. And, um, headlocks. It's here. Don't drop your guard for a second, Weevil. Don't even blink. Not blinking. <laughs> what George say about hunting animals, huh? Tiger and Weevil get naughty fingers. <laughs> it's not just an animal. Blah, it's the Chupacabra. Choopy Cooby Doo? What Choopy Cooby Doo? <laughs> no, George. The Chupacabra. It's the trickiest and most dangerous of all Mother Nature's nasties. When the other predators tell scary stories at meat camp, it's always about the chupacabra. The steaks were gone. The chupacabra had replaced them with arugula. <laughs> Killer whales were originally land dwellers. Hey, you! Come back here! Classic Chupacabra, waiting until we were distracted by the narrator. George, rescue Weevil from Chupicubu. Not so fast, Jungle Pants. But George, save Weevil. This is your fault. You triggered that cutaway with your Chupicubu nonsense. Talk like a real person. You are going to help me avenge Weevil's loss. Tiger! But Weevil not lost yet. He's a goner. I'm really not. <laughs> <laughs> 
He was a loyal assistant. He carried rope like a champ, creased maps like a pro, and operated a microwave like a boss. Rest in peace, little guy. Can someone just please rescue me? You owe me, George. So you'll help me catch this chupacabra that struck poor Weevil down in his prime. I'm still alive! Got it, Leaf Eater. George coming, Weevil! I'll take your naked enthusiasm as a yes. You have to understand, Chupacabra is a truly worthy opponent. He's my nemesis, my arch enemy, my numero uno enemy type guy. But I'll show him, Mano a Chupacabra. <laughs> My Jeep for fruit! What if baby banana gets stepped on, or eaten by monkey, or mistaken for fat tiny boomerang? It would learn to survive and become stronger! Abandoned by its own kind, the banana cub would be forced to face its worst fears and crush them. In time, it would become more than just a banana. A banana to fear, a banana to respect, a macho banana. An alpha banana, making the rest of its kind look like fancy organic plantains. Fierce and noble, yet lonely. Oh, that okay. George Orphan too. I was talking about the banana. <laughs> That's what tough tastes like. <laughs> We've got a chupacabra to catch. <laughs> The lair of the Chupacabra. Chupi Kubu. Time for a visit from Mr. Catchy and Mr. Sleepy. No, saving better than hunting. Whoa! Forget it, hippie. Man was meant to conquer nature, not make friends with it. He was meant to have an amazing jawline and use muscular words like Chesterfield and ripcord. Not swing through the jungle in a tacky loincloth. Yeah? How tiger hunt without bang sticks? Ha! Don't eat them. Meet Goodnight Charlie and Mrs. Bash. They're registered weapons. I have to check them when I fly. If you survive this, I'll be very, very surprised. Oh boy. Here, George, go. <laughs> As if. What in Hemingway's name? Oh, hi, Tiger. Hmm, you hungry? That chupacabra fellow left me all this delicious food. And boy, he makes a fantastic smoothie. It's good to have you back, Weevil. Hi, uh, thanks, Tiger. Uh, you know I'm bait, right? Of course, that's classic chupacabra, using my own lackey against me. I don't know why, but I like the taste of your mustard chupacabra. I've got a place all ready for you on my trophy wall, right between a polar bear and a T-Rex. I see. Yay! Go, Tiger! Be defeated by gravity. Ah! 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 Arch, 
I left you behind to get eaten. No, oh, George, no. But in unexpected twist. Plant allergic to papaya conditioner George using hair. George always say. Take care of hair, and hair take care of you. Okay, but you still saved someone more fundamentally awesome than you. Why? Because George Orphan 2. <laughs> George left alone in jungle with no one in world to help. Until Ace found George. My, aren't you cute and hairless? Only difference between George and Tiger is George had Ape. What if Tiger was saved by Big Monkey too? Maybe he'd be nicer person. Blah, blah, blah. Get this straight. I don't need saving from nature. Nature needs saving from me. <laughs> Chupacabra, but get a load of a real man's pits. <laughs> Boom, and that's how it's done. Meet this year's master of macho. Come on, Weevil. Tiger, sure he won't do that? Give Chupikubu second chance so Monster can change ways and live new life. <laughs> Here, you beautiful monster. Tiger? Happy now? George, proud of Tiger. I didn't say he'd shut up about your mushy, hippie feelings. I don't even get a trophy now. Tiger still get trophy. Like a golden pat on the back and a first place kiss on the cheek. I am the master of macho. Good for Tiger. Turns out king of the jungle trumps emperor of the yetis. How long George have to stay here? Until next year. At least George have company. Is that papaya in your hair? I think I'm allergic. Mother.